Hello again. Um, this time uh, for our discussion, we're going to use um, a GeoGebra uh, applet to help us uh, with these Riemann sums, which are um, the rectangular approximations that we've been doing. Uh, on page 429, um, numbers 13 through 16, we are asked to do uh, an approximation for the area under a graph. And I'm going to focus on number 15 for my example. And then I'm going to have some of you do number 14 and some of you do number 16 uh, in the discussion. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to put the function in, which is 1 over x. Our closed interval is from 1 to 3. And I want to do uh, 4 rectangles, so n equals 4. My approximation is going to use the right-hand endpoints. And after all the work it's taken to do some of these by hand, you're probably going to be... Um, curse in my name when you find out how quickly a computer can do these sort of approximations. So if you've clicked the link, uh, you should see this page with these values already filled in. This is the Riemann sums um, GeoGebra applet. This one happens to be in HTML5, made for the iPad also, but it'll work on your computer fine. So the deal is we're going to put our function in. For me, on number 15, that is 1 over x. As you tab through this, the graph will change. See, this is the graph now of 1 over x. For problem 15, we're going to be going from left, uh, the left endpoint at 1 to the right endpoint at 3. And we want to do four rectangles. Now, what we're going to be doing is putting rectangles in this little area underneath the curve here. Since we're going to use the right-hand endpoint, and we're going to click Show Right. And notice it'll draw the rectangles in, which all happen to be under the curve. So this approximation is going to be a little short. But we do get the value of 0.95, which is also the value I came up with when I did it by hand in the uh, solutions to the practice exercises. That's how quickly uh, this computer can handle this because it's been programmed to do it. Now, if you want to know what the actual final uh, exact result is for this graph. You can click on GeoGebra integration and the computer is going to do something that we haven't learned how to do yet but we'll learn in uh, lesson 6.4 and it's going to be able to calculate the exact area under the curve. This gray region's all filled in and it comes out to be a little higher than 1. 1.09861 uh, is a rounded off answer. For our Activity here, though, for problem 15, we just want to show the right-hand rectangles with, uh, with the right-hand endpoint, and the value is 0 0.95. If you increase this number, you know, just like we have in our problems, let's say we go to 10 rectangles, that approximation will get closer. Now it's at 1.03. Uh, uh, again, let's put it back to 4 since that's what we're asked to do, and notice it goes back to one, uh, 0 0.95. So anyway, you're going to be doing one of these. You'll go ahead and take a screenshot um, and post it. But this is another tool that's available to sort of help you visualize um, what's going on and then also quickly get the value. Uh, good luck with everything you're doing, uh, and feel free to post questions in the discussion forum if you have any. Take care and have a good holiday.